mother before we get started we are on the grind to 80,000 subscribers so make sure you smash that sub button to give yourself great pack luck in nba 2k22 my team and comment below hashtag witness 80k if you need to go 12 and 0 in my team unlimited complete domination or spotlight challenges and more grinding services go contact rose nba on twitter link for those are in the description yo what's going on guys witness 2k back on nba 2k22 my team on the no money spent account we are grinding triple threat online it has been updated the 100 points thing doesn't matter anymore all you got to do is win and i'm messing with it i didn't mind the 100 points to give situation you know major play defense i didn't mind it you know and i was decent at it as well but i think overall this way it is better um so we're going to try and grind for that card i don't even know what his name is i can barely read it is it paul paul Silas? i think that's his name i want that card because i hear he's really good and we're going to grind some juice triple dread boards Hopefully we can get that free diamond card on the no money spend squad. Comment down below what game mode you have been messing with the most. The squad I am running is this right here. Pink Diamond Camilo Anthony, season one level 40 reward. Glenn Robinson because he's just, I need height. And we've got Jalen Brown right here, the signature series one. Doing that for XP, plus he's really good. I was able to pick this Jalen Brown up for 100K by it now. Now, normally he does go for over 100,000. But because he's a seven graded card, I think that's why his price was 100K. So I bought him anyway. I'm well aware that prices have changed drastically on the auction house. But by the time we're recording this, getting a Jailer Brown for, for under 100K, I thought was pretty good, but it's not anymore. If I can sell him for 110K, for, for a bid. That's obviously not gonna happen and it didn't happen because I definitely sold him for like 96. I would be happy because that would mean we completely break even with that card. But if I have to sell him for 100K buy it now, I wouldn't bother me because we're getting that XP done as well. So I'm gonna grind through boards showing you guys the juice ones along the way. And of course we have the diamond exchange card thingies that you can use for the exchange. So picking up a few of them would be good, but it's that free diamond play that we're hunting for. 2,000 years later. We were able to land a free Dunktober Deluxe Pack from this board right here. Only had one ball drop. So the fact that we actually landed the corner is pretty freaking good. But we just got reset it, did we? Or are we still going? I'm not too sure. I think we're still going, maybe. We are still going. We've got one more game to play. Um, but the thing with this, I don't know how freaking rare this diamond card is. I cannot seem to find him. But he is so rare. And I've been trying to get him for so long that the boards have updated during the video. That's how you know you have a very rare card on your hands. The legend is true. This man does exist. Literally on the next board straight after the dunk toba pack here he is poor Silas is on the board i have three attempts at it now i'm only going to be doing two because i need to save this board if we don't get him in the, in the one of the first two balls we have to save it the corner spots are so difficult to land but i really hope i can just land it oh my god 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 that was so close so close this man better be worth it this man better be worth it. This is this card, it has been annoying, honestly. When the grind gets to this long, when it doesn't have to be, it's just annoying. I think I just got him. I freaking got him. I don't have to play any more games. Oh, you freak, yes. Oh, that makes me so happy. That makes me so freaking happy. I even have one ball draw to attempt to get that other corner. I highly doubt it, but I do not give a damn in the slightest. As long as I got one, I'm happy. It'd be crazy if I got both of them. Woo! Holy crap, I got both. That is actually crazy. I was honestly doubting I was even going to get one of them, but I actually landed both in three ball drops. Here is my final record right here after getting uh, poor Stillers for season two. 54 wins, 13 losses. I played a couple of sweaty games today. I'm not gonna lie, but we got him. That's the main thing. We're gonna open him up right here. Pause, that sounds kind of sus, doesn't it? Who cares, we got a free diamond. This man doesn't even really have a three ball. It's like a 77, but apparently this man can do everything and he can do it at a relatively high level. Comment below if you got this card. I just heard he was good, man, and I just, I had to test him out. He can play small forward and the power forward. I don't know what his height is. I don't even know his animations. I know nothing about this card, but I love that about 2K. I love it when 2K 
make some card that I've never even heard of in my life. They put him in 2K, he's good, and I get him, and I get to figure it out. I love it when 2K do that. So let's check out his stats first. So he's a 93 overall from the Suns, Diamond, Paul Silas. Uh, he can play power forward and small forward. 88 on offense, 99 on defense. I like that. Six foot seven, that's too small for a power forward in my opinion. He'd have, I'd have to run him at the, at the, uh, the small forward if I was going to run him. He has 92 in the driving layup. Post moves are in that 80, draw foul 88, shot close 92. Mid range 85, three point shot 77, free throw 82, driving dunks in 85. Uh, he's got some passing a little bit. 82 block, 92 steal, 89 perimeter defense, 90 interior defense, 82 in the rebounds, 92 speed, and 85 speed with ball. So I can see what people mean when they say this card can do a little bit of everything. His Statistically, he looks like he can do a little bit of everything. Um, he has four Hall of Fame badges, 23 gold, interceptor, intimidator, pogo, stip, tireless defender, Fearless finisher, acrobat in the gold, rim protector, clamps, defensive leader, rebound chaser, uh, downhill, quick first step, menace, hustler. So, I mean, very defensive, the badges, but if this card is good, I would consider putting a diamond shoe on him to give him a better three ball and maybe give him some gold shooting badges as well. We're gonna take Paul Silas into a game of Triple Threat Online. Only feels right. This is where we, this is where we played 54 games. No, we won 54. We played over 60 games to get this card. About 70 games total it took to get this Paul Silas. So it's only fair we get a game of gameplay with him in Triple Threat Online where he where he comes from. I don't even really care if this man's good or not. At the moment, I don't care. I'm just like, I'm so glad the grind is over. That okay first shot is a bad one. I'm just glad the grind is over more than anything because it was getting really, really annoying. We did miss our first shot, but we get a good defensive set on the other end. We got him in the corner. We were wide open, I had to shoot it, and we do knock down a three, even though it's only 77. Putting the clamps on Bruce Bowen. Nowhere to go for you, sir. Absolutely nowhere for you to go. We grab that rebound as well. I mean, I, we can pass a little, but I'm not gonna try and pass, honestly. Um, get your own rebound. Um, that was good. I like to see that, honestly. That's some freaking, some hustle right there. Our opponent finally gets on the board with his first bucket. I want to grab a screen from Paul. Where we at? I got a mismatch here on Calderon. That should be money at all. How's that not a bucket? I don't really know. I want to go back to that mismatch. Come on, come on. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Our opponent is able to take the lead on us. Poor Silas, man. I mean, I think I'm so used to offensive orientated cards if that makes sense like like you look you compare this card to like a mellow who i recently got mellow don't miss mellow don't miss anything he besides that shot right there let's go good uh good recovery on that we're down by three at the moment we might have to start sharing the rock a little bit because we got jalen brown and mellow two obviously amazing offensive players Seal us down low, pump fake. There we go. We get a stop. Look at it take our lead back. Jalen cutting. Got you. Let's go. He clutched up a pretty big three. We can't be doing that. We can't be letting up shots like that. Um, come on, come on. Let's go. He's good inside. I like him. I can see him probably playing the power forward. Good steal. Let's go. I could see him playing the power forward, but personally, I like a bit more height at the power forward position for me. Our opponent comes back and he hits another three. This, this is anyone's game. Honestly, this is anyone's game still. Let me calm it down. Grab a screen from Jalen. There it is, down low. I right, got a nice bucket right there. Jalen, Jalen's actually got four points, five rebounds, one SC. He's actually playing pretty good. Our biggest thing is we cannot let him Hit a three, because if he hits a three, he's going to beat us. I kind of kind of gave him that in a way, because if I hit a three, we'll win. So hopefully I can find one of either Mello. Why is he not playing any defense? Whatever, that'll do. I'm happy with that. We'll take the win. So my final thoughts on this card, it's definitely not a card that I'm familiar with. It's not a card that I would typically use. I'm used to cards that are just 
pure scorers. It's what I sort of mess with mainly, but I can definitely see the potential in this card. His defense is unmatched. If I can give him a diamond shoe and badge him out with gold badges like Limitless Spot Up, Dead Eye, Blinders, and so on, this card could be really, really crazy. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure you do like the video right now, subscribe to the channel as well, and I'll catch you all in the next upload. It's been witnessed. Just play you, man, I had to switch it up Yeah, I might lose a few, ask me if I give a fuck Hey, just play you, man, I had to switch it up Yeah, I might lose a few, ask me if I give a fuck